Well, AOC's team say they saw global warming as a pretext for taking over the economy. That doesn't mean their plan was based on evidence of an actual problem. Because despite what they tell you, the science is not settled. We can all agree that the climate is warming, temperatures are going up, but we, not, we are not sure why. Researchers in Finland have released new work arguing there is little to no evidence at all that the increase in temperature is being driven by the actions of people. Mark Morano is the publisher of Climate Depot and the author of the Politically Incorrect Guide to Climate Change. He joins us tonight. So, Mark, summarize for us these findings. This is a Japanese and Finnish study. What did, what did they uncover? This new study basically is saying that humankind does not have any kind of control on the climate, that man's influence has essentially been undetectable in the climate record. And they're kind of, and the study is finding that clouds are a much more important control knob, if you will, of the climate. Now, it's just one study. The key here is climate skeptics don't jump on one study, but we say there are hundreds of factors that influence the climate. Tilt of the Earth's axis, water vapor, right. methane, volcanoes, uh, and, and all kinds of ocean cycles. The idea that carbon dioxide is a control knob is not valid. And, on my, and I actually point out there's over 500 peer-reviewed studies within the last year dis, dis, de, um, debunking the idea that CO2 is the control knob. This latest study on so, clouds so, so, is very important. Well, so there are three parts. When people say climate change, there, there are really three questions that are addressed. Yes. Is the climate changing? Why is it changing? And what can we do about it? So there seems to be a consensus on one. There is not a consensus on two and three, the questions that matter, or am I misstating that? No, in fact, it's all about timelines. One of the tricks they'll do, uh, you know, these Soros group does these TV weathermen. They'll go, since 1970, temperatures warm. Why are they using 1970 as a baseline? That was the global cooling era. If you go back to the medieval warm period, we're probably the same temperature we may have cooled. If you go back to the Roman warming period, about zero AD, we're probably cool. If you go into to the geologic history of the Earth, we're in the 10% coldest period of Earth's history. In other words, 90% of the Earth's history was colder than today and didn't support ice on either pole. So yes, we have warmed since the end of the Little Ice Age in 1850. That's indisputable. Has man contributed? The United Nations claims man is responsible for the majority of the warming. And they come up with a 95% confidence interval, which literally is a show of hands of selected activist authors, some of whom, like Michael they're, Oppenheimer. They're, they're, making, they're making it up. Yeah, exactly. funded by Barbara Streisand and working for activist environmental groups. Right. And this is how they get it. And then the next question you ask is, how do we control it? We cannot control the climate any more than they believed witches could control the climate. And don't forget, the witches were actually condemned by, by judges who were educated at Harvard. So this was the best and brightest who thought that witches influence the climate, causes crop <laughs> failure. And that's where we are now with the Green New Deal. The UN's own models, the EPA uh, models show uh, the UN I, wouldn't I, even I impact gotta, climate. I gotta, Sure. <laughs> I got to stop it's mad there, but I'm going to I'm going to rush to Google in the commercial break to verify that Harvard educated judges sent witches to their desk. But I think you're right, Mark. Thank you for yes. that and thank the rest. You.